Hello, I am Dr. Swati, Consultant Gastroenterologist, Care Hospital, High Tech City. Now I am going to talk about a very common problem called NAFLD, that is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It is characterized by deposition of too much of fat in the liver. However, if left untreated, it may progress to very severe, uh, severe liver damage. Uh, that is called NASH that is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis in this whatever the fat that is deposited in the liver will cause damage to the liver cell leading to fibrosis or scarring of the liver if the scarring is severe enough it can lead to cirrhosis or chronic liver disease or maybe even liver cancers NAFLD it is a very common problem it can be seen in any age group However, it is most commonly seen in persons who are overweight or obese, mainly having central obesity. Central obesity means deposition of more fat in the abdomen. Or who, persons who have sedentary lifestyle with no physical activity. And also it, it is more commonly seen in persons who are having diabetes, uh, high cholesterol, high blood pressures, having hypothyroidism or PCOD problems and also mainly even if the patient person is not obese also it can be seen in persons who have who intake high calorie food like the food which is rich in sugars and fat and NAFL it is a silent disease it won't cause any symptoms until the liver is damaged completely in majority of the patients it is uh, diagnosed incidentally where through an abnormal liver function test which is done as a part of routine health check or on the ultrasound abdomen which shows a fatty liver. At this stage, the person should consult a gastroenterologist to know whether it is a simple fatty liver or it has progressed to the st stage of NASH that is what I told non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. And also we have to rule out other causes which may cause uh, this liver function abnormalities or fatty liver like autoimmune uh, hepatitis, Wilson's disease or chronic viral hepatitis which are all treatable conditions. And also the doctor will assess the fibrosis stage through few blood tests or, and through a test called liver fibroscan or liver elastography which will measure the stiffness of the liver. Because of, as I told, because of fat deposition, the liver cells get damaged and there will be scarring in the liver. If the scarring is too much and most of the liver cells are damaged, the liver will become stiff, which will be diagnosed through this uh, liver fibroscan or liver elastography. And it is uh, currently there are very few medications approved for this condition. However, we can prevent the disease and uh, start, decrease the progression of the disease only through lifestyle modifications which include weight loss, diet control and physical activity. And of these weight, uh, weight loss is the most important uh, factor which will decide and which will reduce the fat deposition in the liver and also reduce uh, even uh, halt and reduce the fibrosis of the liver also. So at the, till that stage it is reversible. Weight loss should be at least 10% of the body weight should be lost over a period of time. That is, if a person is around 90 kg, at least 9 kg of the weight loss should be there to reap these benefits. And weight loss could be to uh, physical activity and diet control. Diet control is mainly they should avoid high calorie diet. Like uh, what I told you, like sweet, uh, soft drinks or any other beverages which are high in fructose content and at, with artificial sweetness and also fatty fried foods uh, which includes uh, like even red meat should be avoided and the diet should contain mainly healthy diet that is which contains high fiber diet and protein intake should be in moderation and it should be like uh, when you be vegetarian protein or lean meat which may be chicken egg whites or fish and the physical activity should be there and the physical activity could be uh, in the form of running, cycling, jogging or swimming or anything should be there at least 150 minutes in a week should be there and mainly the physical lifestyle modifications play a beneficial role in case of fatty liver. Thank you.